Hey guys, thanks for watching Tiger Claw TV. Here's my Steam profile. I spent a lot of time on Steam, so I thought I'd make a video to, or two about it. Um, one thing that have, has kind of always fascinated me is games that get removed from the Steam storefront for whatever reason. Um, here you can see four games that I own that are no longer for sale. And the way they do it is if, if a game gets removed from their catalog and you already own it, they'll still, um, it, it stays on their servers. Like, I can still download fresh copies of these games, but um, they're no longer for sale. If they have achievements, though, the achievements will still work and, and everything, but um, no, you can't buy them anymore. So here's a few examples that I wanted to go over. This is Nexus, um, which recently went off the market when uh, THQ liquidated their assets. And essentially what they had was um, a multiplayer arena shooter using the Cry Engine. This was supposed to be like, um, well, it was supposed to be like Unreal Tournament. It was very much reminiscent to multiplayer online shooting around 1999 to 2002. Um, and I really, really liked it, but the player base was very, very small, and eventually the master servers went down, and since it's a multiplayer-only game, that didn't really make it very playable. Um, and now, from what I understand, you can't even start it. It's a shame, because this was one of the early additions to Steam Workshop, where you could build levels and download uh, integrated uh, downloading of other people's levels and everything like that. So this is Nexus. Um, I, I'll, I also have it on the Xbox 360, but... I don't know what the deal is there. I assume that it's it's been removed from that market as well. This is Mafia, um, and I have no idea why this isn't for sale anymore. But yeah, Mafia 2 is still for sale, but the first Mafia, can't buy it. Um, when Mafia 2 came out, I picked this up for 99 cents, and I think it went off the market uh, very shortly after. As far as... Uh, why they don't sell it, I will say compatibility with this game is very poor. I tried it on three different computers, and out of three, it's only worked on one. But that doesn't seem like a reason to not sell a game on Steam. I've, I've had plenty of games that have way worse compatibility issues than that, and continue to be sold, but for whatever reason, here's Mafia, they don't sell it anymore. This is the Scourge Project. I don't remember where I got this at all. Um, and apparently they don't sell it anymore. I've never played it, but it's in my library. Um, and I think the story is there was, um, before the pay-what-you-want bundle thing was popular, what they did was they would have groups of games for sale, and I w uh, um, they wouldn't be pay-what-you-want, but they'd be somewhat low price. That, that would happen every year or so. And this was in, like, a bundle of uh, horror-themed games, and it was one I never got around to playing. I think that bundle was like five or six bucks. But anyway, this is the Scourge project. Uh, it runs in the Unreal Engine, and it doesn't, um, and it's not for sale anymore. Magic: The Gathering: Duels of the Planeswalkers. This is somewhat of a frustrating tale for me. This game um, is now it has become a franchise that they put out annually. There's now four iterations of this game, I believe. Um, 2012, 2013, and most recently 2014. This is the vanilla game that came out first. And for whatever reason, they removed this from the library around the time 2012 came out. So the, the previous years, 2012 and 2013, those are still for sale, but this is the only one that got removed. And I don't know why. And another thing that's interesting about this game... Here it is in my Steam library in the grid. This game, they no longer store the the grid image. If I right click here, you'll see the image that you see now is a custom image I downloaded from the internet and then pasted over it um, so that something would show up. But uh, see, here's Mafia. They still have the grid image for that game, but I don't know what happened. For some reason, they stopped carrying the they stopped having the, the grid image on their on their servers. So yeah, you're going to have to, if you still have this game, you're going to have to go to like Steam Banners or something and, and download yourself a copy. Chess Master Challenge. Um, there used to be two Chess Master games available for Steam. There was this, which was 10 bucks, and then uh, Chess Master Grand, uh, Challenge Grandmaster Edition, which was 20 bucks. 
neither one is for sale in Steam anymore. Um, I can I can theorize that it was because nobody was buying them, but this particular game is now free. If you look it up on the internet, you can get you, from the Chessmaster website. They offer it as a free download. I bought this for like two and a half bucks or something on, on a sale. Then there's this game, Everyday Genius Square Logic. This is another one I got on a deal, and somewhere along the line, this little puzzle game ended up getting removed from the library. You can't buy it anymore. Um, there is one interesting exception. The publisher is Mumbo Jumbo, or, yeah, Mumbo Jumbo. If you buy the entire publisher collection for $80, and there it is, Everyday Genius Square Logic. So technically, you can still get the game. But um, I got it for 99 cents. Now it's going to cost you $80. And maybe the publisher catalog will go on sale on, uh, on the holidays, as, as they frequently do. But what confuses me about this is, unlike the... Uh, uh oh yeah, I tried to go to the Steam store and uh, the store entry, and it's, it's gone. Unlike the previous games I discussed, this game is really good as far as puzzle games go. There's no reason... I mean... It, it works well, it's been really fun to play, and I got it on the cheap. As far as Steam's concerned, that's the best you can hope for. Um, but those are the games that I own that, uh, you, for whatever reason, you can no longer purchase. Thanks for watching.